I'm trying to do is work out this torque setting so that I can get a nice finish. Brett has been working for your town for 16 years. But after finishing his trade apprenticeship, he was looking for a new challenge. The clients that were involved with Boys Town and the programs that were running at the time engaged me. Being that, you know, they'd had some hardship in their life. I had a little bit of a similar situation as a young fella, so I was looking to sort of get involved in that environment to teach uh, disadvantaged youth. Having met his father only once meant Brett had to grow up quickly. My mum had five kids, I was the oldest, so I was working at a young age to help support the family. We never had too much, but we were happy in the family environment that we had. I think when I come to your town and I work with the young people, I understand some of the issues they've got outside of the workplace, and it's just about trying to distinguish the difference between the two. During his time at your town, Brett has worked in a variety of areas. Construction, landscaping, uh, maintenance, um, you know, work skills, traineeships, life skills. Um, a variety of different workshops. I now work in property maintenance and um, I'm responsible for the, for the upkeep of um, 19 properties across Australia, um, all, all maintenance and repair work that needs to be done on those sites. Because of his own upbringing, being able to work with disadvantaged young people is something that's close to his own heart. Josh, we've used the drop saw before, so we make sure we've got our PPE, which we need, obviously, for personal protection. Before your town, I had pretty much everything set up until I lost my job, and it's been a bit of a struggle. I've basically been in financial difficulties after that. Josh is just one of hundreds of young people that have been able to turn their lives around by utilising the services offered by Brett and the Your Town team. Whilst Josh has been working with, with us here at your town, he's, he's built a training room, he's, he's done a variety of skills on construction, on power tools, on health and safety, in trying to enable him to have the skills to, to gain employment and to be sustainable in that job. So, yeah, Josh, I hope to see as a, an apprentice, um, personally, um, because I think he'd make an excellent tradesperson. But without continual support, these vital training and education-based services can't continue. So for me, things are starting to look up again, thanks to your town. And for Brett, these success stories are what motivates him each day. The sort of reward that I get isn't about how much money I get paid. It's about sort of seeing the look on the faces of the young people that I work with and, and seeing that they're actually becoming happy and stable in their own lives. So I've been doing it for 16 years now and I still love coming to work for your town because of the diversity in what I do. New name. Same passion, same purpose.